Hey what's up guys and welcome back to Mr. 3D. In today's video, we've got an interesting new tool by Node Interactive called Tear Painter. With this tool, you can easily add procedural tears on your fabric mesh by using brush strokes only. For those who would like to get this, as of now, it is available at 20% off launch discount. So I'm going to put the link to this page in the description below. So you can come here and grab it while the discount is running. Now with all that being said, let's dive into Blender and take a look at how it actually works. And first thing you have to do is to download the asset library from Blender Market. And once you do that, just simply go over to Edit, Preferences, all the way over to File Paths. Click this plus icon and locate to wherever you have saved the blend file. Once you select it, you will see something like this. Click on Save Preferences and now you're good to go. So to get started with it, all you have to do is you can either split the window or just move the timeline up a bit, change it to Asset Browser. From here, you have to select the asset library that we just added, which is this one. And you will see that we got a couple of presets and a demo file. So how you get to work with this is very simple and easy. First of all, I will show you how you can apply it to your custom model. For that, I'm going to drag this shorts right here and I will just delete the modifier that it came with. Now it's a normal model. Select any of the presets from here and click and drag it on top of the model. So I'm going with the default one and then here you will see that we got the modifier right here but we we don't have anything yet. It's just a default one. So to get started, all you have to do is go over to the object data properties, click this plus icon and this will create a new vertex group and we have to change it to new one so that it's more organized. Then we'll go back and select the new one we have just created. Select the mesh, then go over to the weight paint mode. And this is where all the magic happens. I'll just change it to look dev mode, just so it's clear a bit. And I'll just press F to scale it up a bit. Make sure the weight paint is at one. And now you can start to add tears. You can see that we are getting some nice tears right here. You guys can see that this is how easy it is to add tears. Now what you guys can also do is come up here and play around with all the different settings that it came with. Let's say you want noise, you can add that right here and it's it just makes it a bit wobbly. Then you can increase the noise strength or something like that. You can show tear only or you can thread UVs. Next we have colors, you can change the color to whatever you want. You get tear settings. Like you want to push in, out, maybe you want to increase the distance between these. Everything is right here. So basically with all these settings, you can customize it to the way you want. You can also add first border right here, which has these extra tears at the edges. If you want to remove in some points, you can select it, select the group that came with the mesh it won't be there with your mesh so you have to create one and just select it there and if you want some border fuzz back then you can come up right here and select the group and change the weight paint to zero and this will remove the weight paint and you can start to add those back right here same can be said for this one and uh, it's a bit complicated for beginners to understand but if you're a regular blender user you know how easy it is and how intuitive it is to work with this that is it for this one. Now I will just go ahead and uh, remove this one and show you some other presets. So here we have the gene one, which is a nice one. And then you can select the group from here. And now to get rid of these border fuzzies, all you have to do is come up here and select the group like we previously had selected. And as I said earlier, you can play around with all the settings right here to get the result you want. So here's the last thing I'm going to tell you is that you can add multiple layers of the tears to your mesh. So I'll just click and drag the default one again. I'll just go ahead and create a new group and I will name it to new tear. Then I will go back to weight paint mode. Make sure it's selected there. You have to also select the new tear group right here now you can see that we are we are getting somewhere of course you can change the color to whatever you want and so on and so forth and this is how you layer your tears on your model so for those who are thinking of getting it the link is in the description the node interactive also got some nice tools on their store 
they got Ritopo Planes, Scope Bridge 2, Rap Master and so on and so forth. That's pretty much it. I hope you guys liked this video and if you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Tell me what you guys think about it in the comment section below. And of course, if you are new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notifications so that you won't miss out on my future videos. Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.